In a recent development concerning the governance of Abi Estate, Governor Alex Adi has been operating from his private residence instead of the designated government houses, sparking debate and curiosity among the populace. This decision has raised questions about the utilization of public properties and the financial implications on the state, according to a report by a prominent Nigerian newspaper. Governor Adi has opted to run the affairs of the state from his country home outside Amuahia, the state capital. Rather than utilizing both the new government house and old government house complexes, this decision, while not illegal, has led to concerns regarding the management of public resources, addressing reporters through his spokesperson, Kazi Yuko. Governor Adi clarified his rationale behind this unconventional approach. He cited a preference for cost-saving measures over the extravagant use of public funds too renovate the governor's lodge within the old government house. He emphasized that both the old and new government complexes were in a state of disrepair, requiring significant financial investment for rehabilitation, moreover. Governor Adi asserted his commitment to prioritizing the urgent needs of the state over personal comfort. He highlighted the ongoing challenges facing Abi Estate, including pension arrears, unpaid civil service salaries, and deteriorating health care infrastructure. In light of these pressing issues, he deemed the renovation of the government house as a lower priority. Contrary to claims made by the previous administration, Governor Adi disputed the completion status of the new government house, describing it as hastily commissioned with numerous deficiencies including unfinished construction work and lack of essential amenities like power supply. He further substantiated his stance with visual evidence depicting the dilapidated state of the premises. Critics have questioned the governor's decision, arguing that six months should have been sufficient time to address the infrastructure challenges and establish functional government facilities. However, Governor Adi reiterated his stance emphasizing the need to allocate resources towards more pressing socio-economic priorities rather than lavish expenditures on official accommodations. The decision by Governor Alex Adi to operate from his private residence instead of the government house reflects a pragmatic approach aimed at optimizing limited resources for the benefit of the state. While it has sparked debate and scrutiny, it underscores his commitment to fiscal responsibility and addressing the immediate needs of Abia State. As the governance landscape continues to evolve, the efficacy of such decisions will undoubtedly be subject to ongoing evaluation and public discourse.